look at the size of this thing. It's like Simba. Yes! So when a predator looks at something like this, it's going, no way, dog. No way I can swallow that thing whole. I'm gonna choke or something. This is like a large hamburger. Doesn't taste as good. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre or even deadly life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. One of my favorite groups of animals to encounter while out in the field are amphibians. These amazing organisms come in a variety of shapes and sizes. And today, I'm on the hunt for one of the largest in the world, the Malaysian Giant River Toad. We start our journey in the dense jungles of southern Thailand along a rushing stream, and we have our sights set on one of these gargantuan toads. Let's see what we can find. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today we are in southern Thailand and we're walking along a beautiful stream. We've got waterfalls, we've got fast moving water, and today I'm looking for a very special amphibian. This is one of the largest amphibians in the world and definitely one of the largest, if not the largest amphibian that you can encounter here in Southeast Asia. Today I am looking for the giant river toad, which lives up to its name. So, hopefully, I can show you just how giant these toads can be. After just a few short minutes of searching, we found exactly what we were hoping to find. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Woo -hoo! Look at the size of this! This is like a puppy or a kitty! But no, this is the giant. River Toad. Aptly named because look at the size of this thing. It's just like Simba. This is actually probably the largest one I've ever seen. These are really common to see in these kind of rocky creeks uh, and rivers because uh, there's tons of of invertebrate life, tons of smaller animals that kind of scurry through these water sources that these animals, of course, make their prey. These toads, like many species, secrete a highly toxic substance from the glands or warts on their backs. Now, this is a fantastic way to deter predators who would otherwise make a bountiful meal out of these bouncing bufonids. In addition, their eggs and tadpoles are also toxic. You can never be too safe in the rainforest. Look at the size of this thing! You can see very clearly toads. You can see that characteristic warty, toady skin accompanied by these beautiful little toxic poison glands that they'll actually use in defense. But uh, nothing's really eating these bad bad boys right here. This is a large female. Um, nothing can really eat this. Uh, they're toxic uh, to almost everything. And of course, they are gigantic. And as you can see, when they feel threatened, they can actually gulp air uh, to a certain extent to inflate their bodies to make them even larger. So when a predator looks at something like this, it's going, no way, dog. No way I can swallow that thing whole. I'm gonna choke or something. I mean, this is like a large hamburger. Doesn't taste as good, I'd imagine. And you'd probably die if you ate it, so please don't eat giant river toads. It's okay, pal. Look at that. It's absolutely freaking gigantic. 
Now, just like all toads, these animals are uh, uh, pretty uh, happy living a simple life of sitting, whoa, sitting around sitting around and uh, waiting for food to kind of come to them. These are great ambush predators. Uh, of course, they've got some actually great camouflage along these kind of rocky creeks. It actually took me a second uh, to figure out what I was looking at with this animal because uh, it blends into all the rocks and things. But look at that. <laughs> this guy is so big. So big. Wow. Have you ever seen a toad this big? I don't think you have. There's no way that you have. Uh, now, of course, these aren't, they don't get quite as large as the cane toad, uh, but these are one of the largest toads in the world. Uh, I'm sure the largest toad in Asia. Look at that. They've got powerful legs. Um, they don't jump very far, uh, but they can, uh, they can get up and over pretty large rocks when they need to. Uh, look at that. They've also got some great webbing. Uh, which can kind of propel them through the water as well. You can see that's some amazing, amazing webbing that helps them to kind of keep up with some of these currents. You can hear that water sound. There's a waterfall right here. They're more than at home uh, next to running water. So even if they fall in, uh, they're, they're actually pretty decent swimmers. Uh, they're not going to be kind of caught off guard. And in a fast moving stream, they're able to kind of swim to a rock and clamber up and uh, hopefully eat something gnarly. These animals will eat all sorts of stuff, anything they can fit in their mouths, giant centipedes, uh, other frogs, lizards, snakes, insects, tarantulas. They're toads, uh, and they're gigantic toads. So they can and will eat anything that nature will allow them to come close enough to. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it's like a just so weighty too it's like a big old like a turkey leg or something just like like you get at the state fair it's just such a meaty amphibian look at that coochie coochie such a cool such a cool species. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's just like. See, look, we're matching. But uh, yeah, wow. This is by far the largest uh, giant toad uh, that I have had the absolute pleasure uh, of running into here in Southeast Asia. All right, we've had a great time with this absolute monster of a Malaysian giant river toad. So we're gonna let it go right back where we found it. Oh. There she goes, too cool. Oh man, aren't these toads just so, so cool. Well, my friends, that's all the time we have for today. So I must now bid you adieu. But if I've left you with anything, I hope I've left you with this. This remarkable planet is filled to the brim with a diverse array of life. An interconnected web of beings all relying on each other for food, shelter, resources, and stability. I hope these videos I create help to showcase how important even the creepy, slimy, tiny, or even dangerous organisms of our planet truly are. We're all Earthlings just doing our best to survive in the context of our communities. Be kind to your fellow Earth inhabitants, and I'll see you all next week with a brand new video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.